Today we're going to be talking about all things clitoris. My favorite subject. Because it goes from my clit's too sensitive to my clit's numb. What's going on? Okay. What are we, what's the first step well, in clitoral... All right. The, the clitoris every... has 8,000 nerve endings. But wait a minute. Let's go to the basic. I want you to have a visual image of your vulva, and I want you to be very specific about honing in on your clitoris with both hands. I don't want this side view. Now, here's the example. If I said, I want to, you want to know what you look like when you smile, you would do yeah. this. You have to open the whole thing up. Please, women, please. I keep harping on this. I'm sick of it, you know? And you can get a freestanding mirror now in any drugstore. Any drugstore. Just one that you can prop up that has that little bottom thing. Now, well, one we need to hold. And then you also, don't, no, don't let it stand up. Lay it on its side because and you're going to be sitting yeah. on the floor. Sit on the floor on a towel. On the bed, you're going to sink in. You're not going to get the bottom part. You're going to really part. see it. In other words, I'm really talking about learning to view your, your genitals. And then a thoroughly. little lamp. You always have the office lamp. If you right don't there. have light, you can't see. I mean, come on. This is number one step for learning about your clitoris. You have to have a visual image. Now, while you're looking in the mirror, and this is what I tell my clients, we are now going to go through a process where you will be owning your female genitals. It's not going to belong to your mother, your husband, or the doctor. It's going to be <laughs> yours and yours alone. While you see your, your vulva in the mirror, get some oil and just do a nice... Long strokes. Easy, a vulva massage. Play with her. Yeah. You know, it's like if you were going to give yourself a facial, what would you do? Exactly the same thing. And there are different sensitive parts, and everyone's kind of different where it is sensitive. Uh -huh. and that's what you're getting in touch with. You're going to find out, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> then I want extra oil on your finger, and I want you to rub over the, cl the shaft of the clitoris. Just go back, and just like a little rubber band. And then I want you to very gently move down a bit, not directly on the glands, a little above it or a little below it. Same, you've got the oil on your finger. Just move, circle. Move, move it Gentle around. circles. Little slight, little tiny circles. How does that feel? How does that feel? Little, you want a little more? Okay, press a little more. You want Now, how about going a little faster? Yeah, the back um, and forth or up and, and down. And also, slow down. Mm -hmm. Experiment, women. Please, experiment. Don't just think that only your, your boyfriend or your, or your gynecologist or whatever looks at it. And then they can't figure it out. You need to figure it out for yourself, and then you can communicate that to them. Like, my clitoris is most sensitive, really above, almost in the mons. I mean, really above and really high up. And our intern, Karen, we were talking about, because her center part is all the way down, almost on the tip of it. It's and some, very And different. some women are below. They want to go below the clitoris. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> and, when we're using, and when we're using vibrators, usually what is happening is the clitoral hood or the outer lip is folded over, and you're doing your vibrator yeah. on the side. So... If you haven't got a visual image and you don't know what you look like and you haven't seen your clitoris, the glands, the shaft, the hood, all of those parts, then how can you talk about the sensitivity of your clitoris? From the visual image, then you go to the touching, and then once you master how you like to have your orgasms mm -hmm. with masturbation, you share that with your lover, your partner, your husband, whatever, or your dog. Your girlfriend or... Girl, oh, girlfriend, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is that you want to partake in. <laughs> in, in these, in these class. delightful games of diddle diddle. I call it diddle diddle. And I like when you always say, that, like, just feel the good feelings. I feel like it's always a race to the orgasm. And we feel oh. like it's not happening. And then we start pushing and we get tensing. Just feel it. It feels good and let it go. Yep, let it happen. Just let the orgasm kind of come to you. Listen to your body. Go play with your pussies, your clitties, your vulvas. Treat them sweet, pet them, and learn what they look like so you can learn what they feel like. And you can love them. Yes. Shoot. Go do it.